What's going on everybody? This is Coster Games. Welcome to another Dwarf Fortress guide slash tutorial thing. I'm going to show you guys how to really get your group started in a fast direction. Um, as you can see, I just, I literally just spawned this in. This is my, I, I carefully planned for this embarkment. Uh, this is my group. I have a miner, metalsmith, gem cutter, bone carver, fishery worker, farmer, and expedition leader. Here are the animals that I brought. The only things I didn't bring was the uh, water buffalo cow and stray donkey. These are the animals that carried my wagon here. So you don't really get to choose what animals carry your wagon. They do bring in one or two extra animals that quote unquote carried your wagon this whole way. So I did bring a bunch of uh, male turkeys, uh, male cats and dogs and male yak bulls. This is because I don't want them breeding a whole bunch and causing a whole bunch of issues in my fort. I prefer having just animals that are just gonna they're they're gonna live a long time unless you slaughter them so um you don't need that many so here's the others I, i'm in a serene area that i've never found one before so i've settled here to try it out uh nothing really going on in the others tab when you start a new place i always go immediately to my labor and i turn on so any metalsmith gem cutters i don't know why they chose my gem cutter to be a x person also uh, so I turn on anything that has to do with stone or metal or gems, I make them miners. So woodcutters, I don't need my gem cutter becoming a woodcutter. I would prefer my bone carver and farmer to become woodcutters. Uh, farmers, so these are only selected. You can go to everybody does this. It causes a lot of issues. You'll find that some, some things nobody's doing and some things everybody's doing and it's a, kind of annoying. So I like to do this, what I'm showing you guys only selected have three of them three or four depending on how many picks you brought woodcutters i'll you only need about two uh, even two is a lot but if one person's tied up another one can grab an axe and go out there hunting nobody does this hunting is very very dangerous it is a way to get a lot of dwarves killed it is a way to piss off a lot of animals in your area and then they will kill your other dwarves it's a pain Nobody does this. Do not worry about this. You're, you're going to have plenty of food and hide if you bring animals along with you. Planters. Uh, these are my farmer and bone carver. They are my planters herbalists, so they are also going to be up here cutting wood. That's fine. They can also be planting. I have a fisher dwarf. Let them fish. Only select to do this. Only select to do your planting. And only select to do your plant gatherers. And we're going to do the same people that were planters be plant gatherers. Now, this is my expedition leader. He will be my manager, my broker. Um, there's another one that I can't think of, uh, your mayor and all that stuff. So like this person is very important to me. I don't want them doing anything, even in the early game. I don't need them doing anything. I have other people working. Um, stone carvers or stone cutters, engravers, haulers, and orderlies. Everybody does this. If you have a free hand, go do it. Um, this is a very good way to set up your first group. So now we're going to go into standing orders. I like to don't automatically weave thread. Thread will be thrown into bins. Um, and if somebody gets possessed, they would. And if they want thread, you may not have any because you're automatically weaving it into cloth. So don't do that. Um, Hughes any cloth. Cool. I like to turn off web collection because whenever I hit the cavern or um, if something's going on, I don't want my people collecting webs and running to go do that. It's kind of silly. Everything else can be automated and slaughter any marked animal. That's good. Hauling. Yes, everything. Refuse and dumping. Now this is interesting. I like to gather refuse. I like to ignore outdoor refuse and outdoor vermin remains. But if you want your outdoor to be clean, I don't want people up here just cleaning stuff up 24 seven. Um, you can go to gather and that will tell them to throw it away. So workers save corpses, skulls, bones, sk uh, shells, skins, and all that. I'm going to show you guys in another guide how to set up your stockpiles. That way you don't get the stuff that you don't want, and they just won't pick it up. If they don't have a place to put it, they're not going to go pick it up. So uh, you can keep this on. It's fine. Teachers and for forbidding. These three can be claimed. Um, and then if you, know, if you do get sieged, you can, do, uh, you can also do this. Forbid grabbing this during sieges. That tells your people... Hey, if a dwarf falls in battle to a bunch of goblins, don't go rushing out there because you have no armor or weapons. Stay inside, and when the siege passes, then we'll go out there and collect our dead. So I, I like, I do like having this on. You can have it on claim; it may cause some issues. I prefer forbid it during sieges. 
So chores, children do chores. Um, they do get mad if they're doing chores, but there is ways to keep them very neutral. Um, so I like, I prefer to have children do doing chores. Um, I like when they're going and grabbing all the stuff for stockpiles, moving stuff around in my stockpiles, cleaning stuff. Children are great for that. Other really don't need to bother with this. Everybody harvests. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You can do only farmers harvest. Usually they're going to be there anyways. Uh, so nobody's really going to be like, oh, I have to go up there. No, your farmer's going to be there. Make similar foods. Yes, that is very handy. Um, you don't want one item in a barrel and then they're like, oh, I can't mix berries with apples. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, and then your preferred zone zones. Yes. So that is how I set up my thing. Nobilities um, is a very interesting thing. My expedition leader is Olin, I do believe. Yes, okay, it is Olin. So then my manager is also going to be Olin, and my broker is going to be Olin, and my bookkeeper is, oh, I guess it can be Olin. So why I do this is just to save space and time. So Olin doing four jobs needs one office. Whereas if I had everybody doing everything, they would need multiple offices, multiple rooms. It's a lot of mining. The reason why I do this is because Expedition Leader has no real job. Manager, they, he just has to go to his office and sign paperwork. So as soon as he goes in his office, he'll sign it off. Your work orders will get done. Broker, whenever trading is in, you can just send him up there real quick. Once you have all your stuff up there to trade, he'll go up there, you trade, send him back down. It takes, you know... 15 seconds of time, he'll be back in his office doing other work, and his bookkeeper, um, he'll just walk around the fort if he has nothing to do, and he will start recording all of your inventory. So that's why I have him locked down in this labor. I want him only doing administrative work. Now, you can do your uh, militia commander and all that. I don't right now. I'm going to go focus on my starting my fort. But this is how I set it up. That way I am good to go and I can start focusing on building and everything. And I know my dwarves are going to do what they need to do. So if this helped you out, leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot more dwarf for fortress content. Um, there's probably a ton of it already on my channel. That If you want to go check it out, go for it. There's some shorts. I know there's a series called The Shattered Kin, which is a, a long form video playthrough that I did of this game and then there's going to be more guides and tutorials coming out and then I'm going to work on a more short form once I get all these guides and tutorials out that I want um, I'm going to do a short form type of content which is uh, playthroughs or um, missions or objectives that I want to conquer in a playthrough and we will be doing small videos on that so if you enjoyed it again leave a like subscribe it helps me out a ton I'm a new channel uh, I'll be playing this a bunch so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.